A 24-year-old woman on the edge of taking her life wants to thank the stranger who saved her. Incredible story here. News 4's Rebecca Cardin has met her at the Natchez Trace Bridge today, where last summer she was moments away from jumping. She stood on the other side of this railing on the concrete barrier for minutes before a cyclist came by and tackled her back onto the roadway. Now she just wants to find that man so she can thank him. I woke up that morning just kind of with the knowledge that I was going to end my life that day. Lauren Clements has walked along this bridge before. And I've survived about 15 suicide attempts. She calls her battle with mental health never ending. It's so hard to explain how painful it is every single day to live with mental illness. She says July 2nd is the closest she's come to ending her life, calling a lift around two in the afternoon to take her to the Natchez Trace Bridge. Like it's very scary for me now yeah. being here. I was standing right there. I um, climbed over the very small railing onto the ledge and stood there for about a minute or two. She was crying, preparing to jump before a stranger grabbed her from behind. We both fell backwards. I remember screaming, no, 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 please let me go. Please just let me die. Um, but he didn't. A bystander on a bicycle held on to her until police arrived. He didn't know he could have fallen down with me. I, he took a really big risk and I don't think, I mean, what do you say to someone who saved your life? So all I can say is thank you. There's a local coalition fighting for higher barriers along this bridge after 32 suicides since 2000. It was recently declared a public health hazard by the state. But maybe if there was just something else that could hold them on just a little bit longer, they would change their minds. So they're not alone, that it's okay to reach out for help, to please hang on. Um, they matter. The Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network has posted these signs on either side of the bridge. If you or anyone you know are having suicidal thoughts, that is the number to call. I'm reporting in Williamson County, Rebecca Cardenas, News 4.